All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to look at the first part of uh, the Avengers Giant Man set. Uh, I got this from Matt B as well, um, so shout out to him. Uh, hooked me up with a really good deal. Um, so like the other one, uh, we're going to look at the um, the meh figures first, and then we'll take a look at the uh, the jewels uh, of the set. Now I did not get. Uh, uh, Nick Fury with this, um, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so we're, we're going to definitely breeze through um, some of these guys. So getting them out of the way, um, we'll take a look at Guardian here. Uh, I think that's Guardian. Uh, so he's got the uh, shield. I really have no idea who this character is, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of a meh for me. Um, it looks good. It's got some shading going on. Uh, yeah, I, I would say if I had more time, he would be, he'd make excellent, uh, custom fodder. Um, but yeah, you get the standard pose ability. It's ball, heads on a ball joint, hinge up and down, disc hinge shoulders, swivel bicep, double hinge elbows. You guys really want me to go through this <laughs> with every figure? Uh, cause I, I think, I think we all know. Um, there's nothing new. There's nothing exciting with this. It's if this is a character that's for you, awesome. It's not a character for me, so um, I, I I'm gonna throw him in my custom fodder bin. Anyway, um, then we got another Iron Man. I pretty safe to assume we've seen this exact mold. Um, Probably, uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you uh, for sure though. He does have these uh, little pew 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 things on his wrists uh, that you can plug into his hands. Um, they came with the war machine that we had not too long ago. Um, it's one of those. If you've been collecting Marvel Legends, you already got the Iron Man, uh, <laughs> and he's got two fist hands, um, and you can just, you know, unplug them, plug them. Like I said, we're breezing through these guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we got a another Captain America. Uh, again, we've seen this before. I do like the way the shield is designed because it's got the straps in there rather than the like on Guardian here, where it's uh, got the port on the back. <sighs> um. So yeah, shield's cool. Uh, the rest of it, you know, it's movie verse. It's not what I'm collecting. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, this is the meh portion of the set. All right, and then we get into the giant man. Now this this is actually pretty cool. Um, so he's got um, ball joint head. Um, let's get the swivel there. Uh, he he's a builder figure, so. Uh, it's really cool. You got the clear lenses on his eyes, and you, or for his eyes, and you can see his eyes in there. That is awesome. Um, it's not my cup of tea, but I can easily sit here and tell you this is awesome. If this is the stuff that you want in your set, then you you're golden. This is awesome. Um, the, so the head bins there, uh, we got the, uh, ratcheted shoulders, uh, in and out, up and down, bicep swivel, double bend, elbow, hand swivels, in and out on the wrist, ab crunch, waist swivel, uh, you got a little soft bits here to kind of get out of your way, legs go out, in and out, thigh swivel, bends at the knee, and I just caught my thumb in there. That hurt like hell. <laughs> um, you got the rocker and the tilt. Uh, so yeah, this this is definitely a, a great build a figure if you're into the that particular one. It's not quite to the scale like he was in the movie, because uh, in the movie he was definitely a, a lot bigger. Um, just because I have him sitting here, we'll be doing this set soon. Uh, here he is next to the. Uh, 
the regular Marvel Legends Ant-Man. So you can see, you know, he's pretty big. And it's it's kind of cool because of the whole, you know, are what else could they get out of this mold? I mean, this is this is pretty much a one and done mold as far as I can I can see. Um I I, I don't know what else they could possibly do with this. Um so it's really cool that they they kind of gave this uh whole set or you know gave this made this figure for this set and solely for this set uh the guardian uh guardian figures meh uh captain america's i mean captain america and iron man they're they're both good figures it's just we've seen them already on the show um you know, I, I know I've reviewed the that, that same Captain America, and I know I've reviewed that same Iron Man. So it's like, why waste our time? Uh, we'll just breeze right through them and just move on to something else. Um, now, this is good. Uh, and so I'll have to say for this portion of the of this wave, uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Um, Giant Man's awesome. Guardian's cool because we're getting a character we didn't have before. The Iron Man and Captain America, we've seen that figure before, so it's like I cannot sit here and give it a good rating because, I mean, fuck, it's just the same goddamn figure re 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 repackaged. So, so no, I, I can't recommend those guys, but in order to get Giant Man, we have to buy it, and that's what sucks about it. That's why I can't give it a higher score. If they were in, this, in the wave and they were, like, optional figures, cool. I mean, I could be down with that, you know, in case you missed the Captain America prior, you can buy this one. But the fact that you're forced to do it, I think, was it Thanos Wave had the Captain America in it as well? Um, and, and yeah, it, it just it just gets ridiculous after a while. And it, it's, you know, I'm not going to put that Captain America on my shelf. I want the comic book style one. Uh, the Iron Man I'll probably put on my shelf until I can find one that's more comic book style. Um, you know, if they ever make it and if they stop repainting this thing, same thing. So anyway, all right. Uh, so tomorrow we'll look at the, what I would consider the jewels of this, of this wave.